Next panel is a product analytics tool, which you can use to analyze and refine your user journeys. You can send both front-end and back-end data to Mixpanel for analysis. In this dashboard, we will analyze your most important metrics around your product. You can see your onboarding process, your user drop-offs and feature usage, as well as important metrics like your MAUs, as well as your top transaction categories, as well as transaction value. We can see that our onboarding drop-offs are very high at the last two steps. And let's look into this further. Over here in my funnel, I can see that users are successfully going through install, scan ID card, and complete video recording. However, drop-offs are very high at scanning the QR, as well as going on to transaction success. In a few clicks in Mix panel, I can view who these users are. I can also create a segment accordingly and try to target these users for win back. Mixpanel has an ecosystem where we integrate with over 20 messaging tools, so you can natively export these users and take action. For example, I would want to look for these left transaction users and try to export them to a tool such as Brace or Facebook ads and try to create new campaigns to win back these users. If I also want to understand what drop-off user journeys are looking like, I can also click on these drop-off users over here and instead try to understand what types of user journeys they are going on. So mixed panel flows will then tell me what types of behaviors users go on to do and correspondingly allow me to understand how do they eventually get to the final transaction moment and where are drop-offs actually highest? Once I have improved on my user journeys and have launched my campaign, let's check on the uptake as well as the ROI of the marketing campaign. I can trace user journeys to better understand who of these users received my notifications, who opened them, and eventually went on to make a transaction. To better understand what types of users or what types of messaging had the highest impact, I am able to break down by multiple types of criteria to surface the best performing campaigns. So in this report, what I would be looking at, all right, is that the, for the push notifications, new DTH plans is actually creating the highest conversion. And for the corresponding end, emails with cashback bonuses have absolutely no impact on my retention at all. When you also ingest transaction data from your backend servers, you can run revenue analytics. This adds on to your analysis of which campaigns are the most successful of all because revenue is now involved. And instead of counting users who pass through the funnels, you now instead count revenue in terms of your potential revenue as well as your realized revenue. So this can help you identify how much money did your users you know, lose at each particular step? And how much money did your users eventually convert with? Let's now take a look at understanding user engagement. When understanding user engagement metrics, MAUs is a very high priority in fintech industries. In Mixed Panel Insights, you can understand your MAUs on a rolling basis. To better take a look at this user engagement over time, you can compare this time according to different time periods very easily to look for any kinds of upwards or downward trends. Mixed panel also gives you a percent change over baseline analysis to let you know if your MAU is going on an upward or a downward kind of trajectory. Mixed Panel Insights has a range of aggregation functions that allow you to create complex yet flexible KPIs. 
in this example, I want to create a benchmark of transaction amounts and use them as KPIs. Next panel has percentile analysis as seen over here. And these can go into the transaction level to take a look and tell me how much are users spending at the 99th percentile, 13.808K, 90th percentile, 75th, so on and so forth. This will then tell me how much my power users are spending and how much users at the other end of the spectrum are performing as well. Once again, being able to compare this month on month, quarter on quarter, will also give me a really great insight into whether my metrics are actually moving in the right direction. I can also interact with these percentile reports and let's say if I wanted to try and increase my average spend amount, I could identify lower spending users and target them with very specific messaging. Clicking on this particular bar over here, I can view who those users are and once again, create a cohort and target them. Using Mixpanel as a platform, you can clearly monitor your KPIs, validate your user behavior, and focus your efforts on the areas with the highest payoff. I hope you found this video helpful. If you have any other questions or would like to learn more about how we help fintech companies optimize their key metrics, please reach out to us.